Have you ever met a woman so attractive that you became a dysfunctional human being? How was it? Can you describe her? Have you ever met a woman so attractive that you became a dysfunctional human being? Yes. Can you describe her? Probably not. Access memory error 404. I literally looked at her delivering post around the offices as she looked up at me and smiled. I then walked into a wall. Really hard. Edit. Wow. I'm surprised how interested people have been in my silly story. So thank you for any rewards and upvotes that have been given. To date, she is happily married to a lovely guy with two children. Although, for clarity, at the time she was one of them rare women who was drop dead gorgeous, but didn't flaunt it. Softly spoken, clever and had a fantastic physique that she clearly worked hard to keep. She did ask if I was okay, and I flustered terribly with embarrassment informing her that I was sure the wall had moved places. My now wife still laughs at my awkwardness over that story today. Damn you the male protagonist in a coming of age movie, I can hear the trailer WTF. I've never been much of a ladies man to begin with. One time, at work, there was this gorgeous woman I had never seen before getting water from the water cooler. I was kind of standing around awkwardly, waiting for my turn and blurted out. So, you like water? Yeah, I kinda need it. Don't you? Never touch the stuff. Proceeds to fill up water bottle. LOL. Story time. So in my university days me and my buddies went to a pub. Me and one of my mates were at the bar ordering drinks. This incredibly cute girl standing across the room catches my eye. I point her out to my buddy and say she is gorgeous. She was looking at us and smiled at me. The music was playing, so there's no way she could hear what I said. However, she was deaf and could lip read. And that's how I ended up dating a deaf girl. Still together? Nah, this was over 30 years ago. I left university and traveled quite a bit for work. She met some other guy and I met some other girl. She was really nice. But life happened and that's all there really is to it. And that's all I have to say about that. HTTPS slash slash yow to b slash otm for us s new. I was at a party sitting in the corner of a room. Goddess center stage. Right and I watched her until she exited stage left. Mesmerized. Next thing I know, I hear a kind voice say, hi. I was so stunned that I let out a primal grunt, looked to everyone else in the room, and then stood and walked away, went full primal right there, straight sponge gar. European girl with a perfect body and beautiful hair. We had a bunch of chemistry. She told me her number and told me to add her on Facebook. I was in complete awe and was mesmerized at what I was seeing. Next thing you know I'm in the taxi leaving and realized I was too distracted by her looks to remember her name or number. I still haven't fully gotten over that now 5 years later. Oof. Big oof. Red ooftober. Reading a book at a bar when an attractive girl tapped me on the shoulder and asked me what I was reading. I giggled and mumbled something incoherently and then took a sip from my drink. She went back to her group of friends. Doesn't it mean she was interested in talking to you? Probably and she might have thought he wasn't interested. But there was this girl who showed signs of being interested in me a couple of years ago, but I fucked it up bad. I wanted to ask her out, but I hyped her up too much in my mind. So I couldn't. She had the most beautiful eyes I had and still have ever seen. Her hair flowed in perfect waves. Her skin was perfect. She smelled so good when she walked by. Her face was so gentle and angelic. I want to scream when I think about how pathetic and scared I was. Spring break came and I talked to my dad about it and he helped me come up with ways to get to talking with her to break the ice because again she had even showed signs that she was interested in me. But then, a couple of days later, we got an email from the university telling us to come get our stuff because of this new scary respiratory virus that came from China. I never saw her again. Ukora zoned. Cub blocked. I haven't was always watching what I said around her, but could never talk without getting tongue tied. Eventually I asked her out and she accepted which took some of the edge off because I knew she liked me too over time we realized we weren't compatible and agreed to stay friends and she agreed to be my wingman. 
when we go out to bars. In my opinion it went better than I cold ever hoped. Or what? Well at least you guys were able to be friends. My story. When I was beginning college I became friends with this tall girl. Turned out she was a model and asked me if I wanted to go with her to a runway show. Of course I agreed. But I had a lot of homework and I was struggling a bit. So I went with her but sat in a corner with my book and notebook to study while she got her mac and hair done. I was focusing when this absolutely gorgeous 10 tenths angel in a bikini came to me and asked me what I was doing. I became basically speechless and showed her the math stuff I was attempting. Turned out she was an engineer and helped me for like 15 minutes. She was really good and I was completely dysfunctional for the time. After a while they called her for some preparations and I just watched her go while her scent stayed. This is a reality that is hard to accept for many. Sometimes one would expect that life balances out. If you are pretty, maybe you are not super smart. If you are charismatic, maybe you are not that pretty and so on. Like paper rock scissors. Then someone comes up with paper rock scissors and nothing seems fair. Used to know this girl at university. Most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Could never be normal around her. Everything just came out ridiculous and awkward. Like an Alan Partridge sketch. Once said, so do you like beans, as an opening conversational gambit and still have flashbacks at night. Lol. Did she like beans though? It was an average Jane. But omg the charisma was off the charts. That's hot. Jokes on you, I haven't met anyone, and yet I'm a dysfunctional human being. That's fine too. My girlfriend. I had such a huge crush on her and still do. That when I went to ask her out I stumbled over all my words. She was smiling so much, but silent for like 3 seconds. That 3 seconds was way too much for me, and desperately blurted out please say yes. I've spoken in front of over 500 strangers on stage done stand-up comedy, and much more, and she's the only person that has ever made me fail basic communication so badly. She must have found it cute though, because we're still together 12 years later. Edit because a few people have mentioned it. We both care very little about marriage. We haven't always been great with communicating, but are fantastic with it now. We've spoken about marriage a few times now and it always ends up with us feeling the same way. A. We'll probably get around to it one day. We got lucky and ended up agreeing with a lot of things in life. No kids. Lots of animals. Political values are the same. And how heavily we value marriage. Thank you for all the kind words too. It's the perfect relationship in my eyes. And she has taught me so much. My heart this is so cute. I saw this girl 3-4 to four times a week at my gym for about a month. We spoke in passing maybe twice. I didn't know how to act around her. This is unusual for me, because I'm pretty confident talking to girls. All I wanted to do was ask her out, but I didn't know how. Finally after a couple of weeks of stirring on it, I mustered up the guts to do it. I finished my workout and waited about 5 minutes until she was done. As she was walking out caught up to her, introduced myself. Then I asked if she wanted my number. Unfortunately she said she had a boyfriend. However, she was really nice about it and appreciated that I had asked. Overall I'm happy I got the courage to ask. The mystery of not knowing was worse than the rejection. Good for you. I also asked someone out at the gym once, but he said he had a girlfriend. So it's good to have that closure instead of wondering about what might have been. I once saw a girl bend over to pick up a pencil during finals week, and it was so fine, that for one brilliant moment I wasn't even stressed anymore. Hello erection my old friend. One time she randomly sat by me at a meeting, and winked at me as part of some joke and honestly you could have used it to hammer in a nail. I was working as a resident in a hospital, where students would rotate through our clinic at certain times. This gorgeous girl I had seen around the hospital rotated through a few times. We had never spoken, but would just smile at one another here and there. She was tall, had dark skin, dark hair, high cheekbones, full lips. She was a goddess. Her face would replay in my mind. I feel like I'm pretty good at conversating slash flirting with women. But for some reason could never get the courage to speak to her. 
Each resident in my clinic had their own treatment room. I had a little set of speakers that I'd play some of my playlists while I treated patients. One day after a patient the girl walked by me, called me by my name and said, I just want you to know every time I'm in this clinic I try to get in treatment room near yours because I love the music you play. My brain scrambled for a cool response, but all I could muster was, oh glad you lucky. I went from flattered to battered in about 5 seconds. Goals to be this beautiful to someone, you probably have been. Attraction varies wildly from person to person. Someone's personality, laugh, or mannerisms have all turned me into goop at one point or another. She was leaving a ball with her husband. He was clearly drunk and trying to grab an unopened bottle of cognac off of one of the tables. There was a bottle on each table as well as lots of champagne bottles, but you weren't allowed to take them out. She was wearing a pink silk gown and looked like Gal Gadot, but taller and possibly part Asian. She was so graceful and elegant. She didn't get upset with her husband's antics or anything but kind of gently coaxed him to leave it alone. She noticed me subtly laughing at the whole charade and smiled and said I don't think he's ready to leave. Maybe we should stay a little longer? Then her husband noticed that she was distracted and let it go and told her he was ready to go home. She smiled, said goodbye and never saw her again. I swear I saw her look over her shoulder. I never saw her again. But she was probably the most elegant, graceful, beautiful woman I've ever seen in real life. The was she carried herself, her walk, her lightness, her whole aura was intoxicating. Gal Gadot is 5FT10 or 1M78 in case anybody is wondering. Good bot. Dunno whether this is a compliment or an insult xd. Yes. My friends and I briefly became friends with the ones who permadal going to our university. We sat next to her in class one day and were literally giddy schoolboys after she left. Couldn't hold it in. We were grinning from ear to ear. She even remembered my name after and said hi G when she passed me on campus. It's the lamest I've ever been around a woman. Hi, Giraffield. I kind of have the opposite. I was a dysfunctional human being. And then I met a girl that made me go, if you want her, you're going to have to fix some shit. I'm not 100% there yet, but working on it. Sending you healthy vibes while you work on yourself. Friend. Hoping the best for future you. I'm not a man, but I've seen a pretty woman. When I was in my teen years, she wasn't drop dead gorgeous, but IDK I just couldn't stop staring at her, like it wasn't because I liked girls or SMTH, it's just that she's got a charm and her smile was so beautiful, and she was like friendly with everyone else. I truly admired her charisma, and how she just seemed to be fitting in effortless. IDK why but she still, lingers on my mind and man I wish I was that charming. Woman here, I can think of several women I've seen or met whom I thought were the most beautiful person in the world at the time. I don't recall their faces so well, but I do remember that each had incredible eyes. Once my husband and I worked together, and one of these women joined the team. Neither of us could stop looking at her, and I gave him a pass for it. Also woman. Oh I for sure know who I thought was the prettiest girl in school and it sure as hell wasn't me. She's still gorgeous. Of course I had to be weird after one of the last times I saw her, and I told her I don't care what anyone says. You were the prettiest girl in our graduating class. She blushed real hard like no one had ever complimented her, and I panicked, and said no worries though I'm not hitting on you or anything just thought you should know it's a tough life when you're awkward af. Yep even let a business go down the pan for a one way relationship that lasted a few years. Backslash view 200d. Bruh. I have a friend of mine that is way more beautiful than she'll ever realize. I'm talking top model. Miss Universe looks and body, but she doesn't know it initially I could barely talk around her. Now I'm all good. Did the ability to talk to her easily transfer to other women you find similarly attractive? Sort of I'm not bad at talking with women, and I'm not intimidated by beautiful girls I just usually get rejected right away, so I don't even have a chance for a conversation. And to be honest I usually don't even try but, if a really pretty girl is talking to me, I very rarely get flustered or nervous. I understand what you want to ask. Happened to me, when I bumped onto Monica Biloxi. She was 6 inches away from my face. 
right in front of me. Her smell. Her perfect olive brown skin. Her big black eyes that were stuck on me. And even that sphinx-like smile she gave when she realized I'm totally smitten by her. Still lingers on my senses even after 15 years. I once walked past the actress that played Tony's Italian cousin. HTTPS slash slash www. YouTube com slash watch v equals sxmvou7bjxc on the sopranot was standing outside a theater having a cigarette by herself during a local film festival and she looked unreal like sex on a stick unadulterated hotness person if ed didn't do shit i just kept on walking i didn't do s just kept on walking you couldn't be bothered to tell her you don't s where you eat it's bad for business yep my gym crush I'm generally quiet, but I turn into an idiot in her vicinity. Even my lifts suffer lol. I looked at her subtle off-white coloring, the tasteful thickness of her, and oh my god she even had a watermark. Let's see Paul Allen's ideal woman. Try getting a reservation at Dorge now, uf stupid bastard.